What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. Today I'm going to be lapping a CPU cooler. Now this is the Deepcool Neptwin White. The reason I picked this cooler is because I can't quite tell there. There's a roughness to it that you should be able to see there quite clearly. Uh, and you can actually, if you run your fingernail over it, you get a really weird noise, which I don't think you're really supposed to get. So I've never actually lapped anything, so this is my first time doing this. Uh, I have watched some YouTube videos, which you probably can see up on the screen there. Hopefully I learned something and I can pass that on to you guys. So I guess that's it for the intro. Let's try to learn something today. Okay, so it is the next day. Now I did finish off all the lapping yesterday and I did actually get the testing done as well. I just then ran out of time after that. Now for the test system I used, the motherboard was the ASRock X470 Tai Chi. The CPU is the Ryzen 5 3600 with all the cores overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. For the system memory, there is two 8 gig DIMMs of Corsair Vengeance running at 3600 megahertz. The thermal interface I used is the IC Graphite Thermal Pad. The power supply is the Corsair CS750M. The OS drive is a 250 gig Western Digital Blue SATA 3 M.2 drive. And the GPU is a Gigabyte RX 590. The fan I tested with is the Noctua NFF12 PWM. This is a pressure optimized fan, which is the type of fan that you should be using for a CPU cooler. And the test was to render the barbershop scene in Blender. I ran this render twice giving the cooler five minutes to cool down between tests. Now to lap the CPU, I used a glass shelf from Ikea that I already had, which I taped to my desk. And for the sandpaper, I just ordered the cheapest pack of waterproof sandpaper that I could find on Amazon. This pack had 200, 300, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500, 2000, and 3000 grit. So in total, there were 10 different grits. I used the same tape to tape the sandpaper to the glass. I then poured water onto the sandpaper and pushed and pulled the cooler across the sandpaper five times, then rotated the cooler 90 degrees and pushed and pulled the cooler across the sandpaper five more times, then rotated the cooler 90 degrees again. I did this until I did two full rotations of the cooler and then changed out the sandpaper and started the whole process again. I did this with each grit, so I did this 10 times. But was this worth doing? Now all these temperatures are shown as a delta over ambient. Before I lapped the CPU cooler, the max temperature of the 3600 was 50.6 Celsius. And after lapping the cooler, the max temperature of the 3600 was 48.4 Celsius. So in my testing, lapping this deep cool cooler dropped the temperature by 2.2 Celsius. Now with my limited understanding of lapping, it really comes down to the cooler because apparently it's really not worth doing if your cooler has direct contact heat pipes like the up here AC12 or the Hyper212. Now, this was really simple to do, but was two Celsius really worth three or so hours of my time? I'm not really sure. Probably, maybe? Now, if I were to do something like this again, I probably could do it in more like 90 minutes because at the start, I spent a lot of time cleaning up because I was using way too much water and was making a big mess, which made it very difficult to quickly move on to the next sheet of sandpaper. Now, if this is something you'd like to try, I would highly recommend using just enough water to be able to smoothly slide the base of the cooler across the sandpaper. How much water that is will depend on the size of the sandpaper, but starting somewhere between 20 and 30 milliliters or around one ounce would be a pretty good place to start. And if this is something you do try, if you let me know in the comments down below how it all turns out, I would highly appreciate it. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. I also have a Discord server. The link is in the description below. It's a great place to get a hold of me if you need technical help. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.